Hi friends, in this video I want to speak about a PSU stock Bharat Heavy Electrical Limited. The stock has given close to 250% returns in just last one year. Now this video is very very important for both types of investors. Investor type number one is the people who have already invested in BHEL and are sitting on some handsome profits. For them the million dollar question is should they continue to hold this stock or should they go ahead and book the profits as the stock has already given 250% returns in last one year. And investor type two is those people who have been watching this rally sitting on the sidelines have not taken any entries so far for them the million dollar question is that should they take fresh entries right now in BHEL as the stock may give more rallies or should they just keep away from this stock because the stock has already appreciated by 250% in last one year. In fact I created a full in-depth analysis of BHEL on my YouTube community so in case you are interested in in-depth analysis of stocks and mutual funds and various other assets then consider subscribing to my YouTube member community go to my channel click on the community tab and simply press on join button. With that let's deep dive into BHL in this video. If you look at my screen you will see that in the last one year is where BHL have given the major rally because if you look at for example end of March 2023 the stock was trading at around 70 rupees level it was a flat return till then and nobody was even speaking about BHEL. Since April 2023, the stock has given a massive rally and the stock has now gone to 300 rupees of level. So allow me two to three minutes of time and I'll explain to you what is causing this massive rally and this is very, very important point. Have a look at the profit and loss statement of BHEL and you will notice something very, very interesting. If you see in March 2013, the company used to make 48,000 crores of top line revenues and net profits used to be around 6,600. Look at in March 2024, the revenues have come down from 48,000 to 23,000. Almost 50% degrowth is what has happened in the last 10 to 11 years. From a profitability perspective, the profits have come down from 6,600 crores to only 282 crore rupees. Now later on in this video, I'll speak about the W shape recovery that BHL is likely to do. But for now, just put this in your mind that in the last 10 to 11 years, the company has been showing degrowth in their revenues as well as in their profits. Secondly, if you see the fundamentals of this company, for example, have a look at the ROCE 2.97%. In last five years, it is only minus 0.13% in negative. Last seven years, if you see 1.52%. If you look at the ROE, 1.10% if you look at the EPS so if you look at all the fundamentals the point I'm trying to get to is that the company is showing very very weak fundamentals if you look at the history if you look at the last three years five years ten years there is no case here to invest any money into BHEL looking at the past history and on top right now if you look at the valuations of BHEL you will see that the PE ratio is right now 377 while the industry PE is at 58 which is more than six times so what is causing this is what I need to describe to you. So for this, have a look at this screen and this screen beautifully summarizes what has been causing this rally into this stock. If you look at FY24, the highest ever yearly order booking has happened in the history of BHEL by 77,000 crores. In FY23, they got orders of 23,000 crores, which is equivalent to a yearly revenue run rate that the company make. But in FY24, something extraordinary has happened throughout the year. The company has been bagging orders and therefore they received 77,000 crores worth orders. In fact, in quarter four of FY24, company received 41,000 crores of order, which is almost five times where it was last year in Q4. Now this fresh order intake in FY 2024 is almost three times more than their annual revenue run rate. So if the company makes again 24,000 crores of revenue run rate in the next three years, they've already got those orders in their bag. Let's dig deeper to see where this growth is coming from. If you look at my screen, you will see that the power segment is where the maximum growth is coming from. They've received orders of 55,000 crores in the power sector, which is up by almost 4x. And if you look at the second segment, industry segment, the company has received orders of 21,000 crores. So both the segments, which the BHL reports their annual statements and revenues is power segment and industry segment has shown phenomenal growth. In power segment, company is a market leader when it comes to thermal power orders. And you can see the order inflows here on the right side of the screen. While in the industry segment, they have received newly 80 one day Bharat trains orders as well. And if you remember in the last video, I spoke about Titagar systems having 
doing a joint venture with BHEL and that's where this growth is coming from. What does this actually mean? This means that the total order book as of March 2024 remains around 1,30,000 crores because remember the 77,000 crores that I spoke about, they were the fresh orders the company received in FY24 but there is an order backlog and this order backlog now becomes 1,30,000 30,000 crores. Out of this 1,30,000 crores of order book right now, 92,000 crore is contributed by the power sector. So in nutshell, I can say that the power sector has been driving the crazy rally in the stock as the company has been signing great deal of orders with the power companies. So far, if you're liking this analysis, request you to hit the like button. Let me know in the comments a simple thank you. It will motivate me to come up with the content for you at zero cost. With that, now let's move to the second hypercritical point that Rahul, you have talked about the order book but order book doesn't necessarily mean that the revenues are likely to grow because these orders might not get executed which is a very very fair argument now i want you to have a look at this snippet here where the company is saying is that in the next few years company is likely to grow their revenues in the range of 12 percent to 15 percent of cagr because ultimately these orders need to be executed you can't really execute these orders overnight it is going to take them some time and what the company is saying is that 12 to 15 percent of cagr growth is what we are likely to see so meaning in FY24, if they have done 24,000 crores in FY25, it is likely to be 26,880 crores. In FY26, it is going to be 30,000 crores. And in FY27, it is likely to be 33,000 crores. And the reason I was reading out these numbers for you is that if you were to plot last 10, 11 years of revenues, as well as the upcoming revenues on a chart, what we are likely to see a pattern something like this, which is called W shape recovery, W shape graph, because you can see a W here. And typically what has been happening is that the revenue revenues has been declining, then there was some increment in the revenues, then further decline. And now it seems to be going to be in the path of this red line here. If I take 12% to 15% of CAGR as per what the company is projecting. Now, what I've described to you so far is the history. What is the future outlook is also we need to consider. So in FY25 and 6, what the company is saying is that they are likely to have 10 gigawatts of order inflow every year. This is what the company is saying. In fact, they have have shown here the list of projects that the company is in process of tendering they call it pipelines and this visibility is not only for 26 or 27 this visibility is right up to year 2032 because have a look at the screen here what the company is saying is that Indian government wants to add 88 gigawatts by 2032 and out of which if you see 10 gigawatts is already tendered out 27 gigawatts is under construction because there are already so many projects that are coming up in the power sector and that leaves 40 more gigawatts to be tendered out. So in the next few years, we are likely to see ordering of that remaining 40 gigawatts in the tune of 10 to 12 gigawatts every single year and post elections after NDA government has come back into power the likelihood is that now this is not a guarantee here but the likelihood is that this policy is going to continue and we are likely to see these orders coming up to bail predominantly because it's a very strong thermal power player in the industry therefore the future visibility of revenues not only what we have seen from the order backlog already what we have but from 26 27 perspective and right up to 2032 there is a very very strong revenue visibility and that is precisely why investors have been buying the stock like crazy in the last one year all this is good rahul tell us whether the stock price is going to go up from here or not nobody can guarantee it i can't guarantee it. nobody can guarantee it now i will give you some patterns so that you can understand a bit more about the stock price movement so in the past what has happened is have a look at my screen and you will see on 29th of november 2023 bail stock was up by almost four percent because they got a deal from ministry of defense right so this is one example of why the share prices go so whenever they sign a new contract the stock prices go up second example you see is bail was up by seven percent i'm calling it bail by the way it's a short form bhel it's not an industry term i've just made it up bail right it's easy to just say it so again coming back seven percent in the month of may 2024 because again they signed a deal with a company called hema lastly again in the month of june 2024 the bail stock rallied by close to 14.5 percent again they backed a contract from adani powers right so again these are examples that i have picked up here and there may be more than that my point is simple that in the next few months and years whenever bhl is going to get a new order you are going to see something similar that's what the past is telling me and the stock prices will soar at that particular time does this mean that you should go and invest in this stock? No, of course not. The, hear me out completely. 
I'm going to now give you the risks associated with this stock because I totally want to give you both sides of the picture for you to make the decision. I'm not going to give you any recommendations in this video. So first biggest risk that every investor is worried about BHEL is that are they going to be able to deliver this order book or not? Because BHEL has got this huge order backlog and the problem right now they are facing is that many of their vendors or suppliers, they are leaving this EPC space, right? This is what you see from a management perspective as well. Management says that they are trying to mitigate this. They are adding more vendors to their ecosystem. But in my view, this remains a solid risk that how much of this big order ba backlog they have got 1 lakh 31,000 crores are they actually going to be able to execute because if they are not able to execute this order book the stock prices are going to crash like anything because it has rallied like anything in the last one year for example if I show examples of that you will see that on May 2022 the BHL share declined by almost 8%. Why? Because they missed the Q4 targets. They did not make solid profits in Q4 that the street was expecting out of them. And this may happen again if they are not able to execute their order book because ultimately order book is nothing if they are not able to execute that order book, convert that order book into revenues and profits because ultimately that's what the investors are looking for. Now, interestingly, on 22nd of May 2024, when this bad news was hitting the market, Cortec Equities, they said that there is a downside into this stock and the stock might fall to 75 rupees level. And there were other brokerage also giving their views. So if I show you those views, ICC Securities at that time were saying that, no, 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 we are still very positive about BHEL because we believe that they can execute this order book. And they were having a target of 370 rupees per share. It's not, again, my recommendation. It is what is out there in public domain. ICICI security is saying that. If you look at Nuwama, Nuwama at that time was saying that BHL, we have a target price of 400 rupees, right? Because they see upside, right? Again, another one, antique stock broking, it was saying around 360. So there was a mixed view from brokerage as well. But again, nobody can tell you exactly what is going to happen in the future. But the two critical points that you need to understand is that the upside is likely to happen because BHL has got very good order book. And as more and new orders come into this order book, the stock price in the short term might go to the higher sides. The second point is that the risk of how much of this order book can they actually execute and if they miss even in one single quarter any of these executions then the stock price is likely to tank. Second risk that you need to know about BHL is that they are having high debt. So if you look at my screen you will see that year on year their debt has been going up and now it is stacking at 8,850 crores and when you have high debt what happens is that you are paying interest on your debt and when you are paying interest on your debt interest is counted as an expense line item in the P account your overall profitability is going to come down and hence it is never a good thing that you have high debt but in my view they still need more debt to be able to fulfill the working capital needs because how will they execute this order book because they will have to go and have to have working capital on the ground and i haven't made it up actually if you look at their cash flow statement so have a look at my screen and you will see in 2024 if you talk about the cash flow from operating activities you will see that it has gone up from 740 crores to 3700 crores so meaning net net they put in 3700 crore more in order to continue to run their operations so this is a huge money right and from an investing perspective they had positive cash flow of 1330 crores from a financing activity this is where they needed to raise money to be able to support the operating activities so they had to borrow more money and if you see they had to add 2655 crores of cash coming from financing activities taking the overall cash flow to 273 crores positive but you can see that majority of that is gone into the operating activities and they had to buy it they have to finance this cash to the tune of 2655 crores so i hope you understand this nuance view of the cash flow statement here for bhl before you take any investment bets into this company so i've given you a lot of points to consider in this video about bhl it is up to you whether you want to invest in this company stay away from this company in fact i want to know what is your opinion based on this analysis what do you think is going to happen with bhl is the stock going to go up or the stock going to crash in the upcoming months or quarters let me know in the comments your view i would love to read your comments and lastly if you like the video hit the like button let me know in the comments thank you i will see you in my next video until then keep rocking